Art is too important not to share. Welcome to the Allie and Callie Artcast. Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Kristen, because Callie's in Italy, <laughs> currently in Venice, having the time of her life. Oh, I bet. Callie, if you're listening, we are so happy for you. I know. It and looks je- like you're jealous. having a blast. And jealous. And totally jelly. Yeah. So welcome to the Allie and Kristen show today. Yes, we're <laughs> with the Coeur d'Alene Arts and Culture Alliance. Yay! Kristen, Hi. guess what? What? I'm going to be a grandma again. Oh, yay! yay! I love it. I know. I'm Do really you know excited. when? Sometime in January is all I've heard. I don't know if Chloe's actually gone to the doctor yet. And she's been very sick. Oh, no. Oh, so she's I think it's a girl. A girl. <laughs> She's having a girl. Yep, I how do, think how she do, is. How do you think people think that? Why do you think people think that? Well, that a, because I was really sick with Megan and I wasn't with the boys. Really? Yeah, and I've heard that from other people too. Yeah, I've heard women are more sick with girls than they are with yeah, boys. Yeah, I don't but know But then why. you hear the ones that are always sick with boys, so you never yeah, know. Yeah, you never know. But she wasn't this sick with Hendrix, so... Right. I'm just crossing my fingers because a little girl would be nice. I know. But you it? know what? Whatever we get will be nice. Oh my gosh. She's going to be the most well-dressed little girl on the planet. Oh, for sure. Not that Hendrix isn't already the most well-dressed little boy. Exactly. But you ask Hendrix, do you want a baby brother or a baby sister? Emphatically, no. No. (laughs) He'll get over it. He's two. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. He'll love his little sister or little brother. I I think so. I think he'll warm And by the time he gets, you know, by the time the baby comes... You know, it'll be... He'll have seen his mommy's almost, tummy grow. Right. And, yeah. Oh, that'll be so much fun for him. I know. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. Yay. New baby. Well, that's kind of ironic because that was what I was going to talk about today. You are. So one cometh, one leaveth. Oh, I become an empty nester. Oh my God, what? (laughs) Well, I only have one child, so it's not like it's a huge feat, but however... But he's actually moving out? The child got... I have an 18, almost 19-year-old son, and he and a few of his work buddies um, got their first apartment. (gasps) Wow. And he moves out out this weekend. Oh my God. Yeah. What are you going to do when you need a ride? (laughs) Well, I can still call him. <laughs> it's not like he's moving to the moon. Right. I he's just suppose. moving he's just moving across town. I'm really excited for him. I'm a yeah, little nervous. It's kind of one of those feelings. At least he's not moving out of the state like he'd kind of planned on. Mm-hmm. Um, but so he's staying in town, mm-hmm. which I'm happy about. Mm-hmm. I think that's probably very good for him. Right. And, you know, they got uh, just a three bedroom two bath apartment so it's going to be kind of tight because there's four of them moving in oh uh, they'll be fine i know they'll when be when they're fine. kids they can jump you know they're all over each other it's well that and they they live in their rooms anyway right so he'll be he'll be That'll fine be but i'm kind of i'm i'm anxious for him to get a little dose of reality yep not living in under you know mom's roof yep. anymore well, this is where out. his creativity uh, skills that he's learned over the years will come in handy. I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. I really hope he, you know. Yeah. In other words, he doesn't come knocking on my door in about another four months. Right. Mom, <laughs> can I move back in? Because <laughs> I'm actually going to move my dragons into his room. Oh, well, he may very well come back because my kids have come back and left and come back and left and come back. <laughs> but that's kind of the way it goes, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember how much I did that when I was his age. Right. Maybe once. Right. But we'll see. Yeah. So that. So again, one cometh and one, and leaveth. one leaveth. If that's a thing. Right. Well, I'm excited about our guests today. I know, me too. We have Johnine Ellis and Terry Blakemore from the Coeur d'Alene Arts Association, and they have some fun things to talk about today. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Hi, you two. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So, Johnine, you are relatively new to the area. And you just recently joined the Coeur d'Alene Arts Association. Can you tell us a little bit about your background, where you're from? Originally, excuse me, I grew up in California. Um, 
I was lucky to be able to retire in uh, at the end of 2003, and that last year that I worked, I took some lessons from a local artist there Mm -hmm. and um, got into oil painting. We hit the road and traveled the road for 11 years. Wow. In an RV. And during that time, we we had a uh, townhome in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So when we decided to quit traveling, we settled down there and were there for six years. Mm -hmm. So and then moved to here. Mm-hmm. So Santa Fe is a wonderful place. It's beautiful. I I want to go visit. In fact, I think we should do an Alley and Cali road trip there. Oh, we that should. would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah that well, would be great. Is that where the original? Is it Meow Wolf? Meow Wolf. Is it the original yes. Meow yes. Wolf yes. from Santa Fe? Mm, it is. That's it like is. that's like a bucket list. Yeah, I know. It yeah, definitely. all of us. Yeah, there's one is. in Vegas. There's the one in Santa Fe. I feel like aren't they putting one in Seattle too? I I think I heard that. Oh, that would be just yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, fun place, mm-hmm. really fun. So. Yeah. So, what brought you to Coeur d'Alene? Um, I didn't realize the allergies in Santa Fe were going to be year round. Mm-hmm. Um, even when there's snow on the ground, you have your juniper trees in bloom oh, <laughs> and <boy>. pollen <laughs> everywhere. So, um, and so we moved here mm-hmm. and love it here. Mm-hmm. Um, I. The first thing I did, because it was shortly after we moved here, was go to um, the art fair downtown here, Mm -hmm. and I saw their booth. You know, they had um, a booth. The Art Association had a booth. Was that at Art on the Green? Art on the Green, yeah. Art on the Green, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I asked for information and application, and I joined, and... I have to tell you, the people that are, Terry the president and the board members work so hard to make this a great association, mm-hmm. and they're, and the people are so giving, mm-hmm. um, supportive, they, they will help you with anything. There is no competition. They're just very supportive. And Santa Fe didn't have an association like that there. Mm -hmm. As much being the second largest um, collection of artwork in the nation, second to New York, the associations just weren't very big. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. surprising. That's I know. actually very surprising. Very surprising. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, um, so it was, it's just been wonderful mm-hmm. um, being a part of this association and getting help. And, and then we've got our, art show our showcase coming up Mm -hmm. on the second and third this weekend yeah this Mm -hmm. This weekend today and tomorrow and it's going to be at the fairgrounds yes right yes and um saturday and sunday friday 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 and saturday Saturday. yeah today today and tomorrow yeah okay the show runs friday from 10 to 8 Mm -hmm. and we have an artist reception at five with wine and food fun yes yes music we hope yeah, and music, Yay. and um, no entrance fee. We uh-huh. have raffle tickets that for three paintings that will be raffled off, original artwork, mm-hmm. and the um, the funds from the raffle tickets go to a scholarship for an art student here in the area. Oh, nice. Yeah, and um, and then Saturday it's ten to five. Oh, perfect. Okay. So. Who are some of the artists that you're featuring? Oh, the the dem- demonstrators. Well, let's see. Kama Pagliato will be there demonstrating. Terry Lee will be there. Cheryl Metcalf will mm-hmm. be there. Stephen Short, which still hasn't gotten back to us, I think he's out of town with family. But I spoke to him a few months ago, and he said he would do it. Mm-hmm. So if something hasn't gotten in the way, Terry Lee's reminding him. Right. And, good. Uh, so and we don't know for sure. I think this year Joe Cronenberg is out of town. But and then we because he usually is there. Yes, he usually is. Right. Yeah, it's so much fun when we have five or six demonstrators. And then Frank Gray, who's one of our members, he um, always demos, and he just is so great. The children talk to him, and people come by, and mm-hmm. we get photos, and he just makes things up out of his head and paints them. 
the Art Association, have a bit, we've really been stressing this year that we are there for the public. Mm-hmm. And we meet at the church at uh, St. Luke's at 501 Wallace. And we meet there every Thursday from 1030 to 2. Most Thursdays, somebody uh-huh. will meet. It's usually just three or four people there on Thursdays. But we have several teachers that have retired and now are there. And there's usually one of them there. So if someone who's always wanted to learn to draw wants to come by on a Thursday between 10 and 2, especially the first Thursday of the month, there's usually a teacher there that'll help them out. Mm -hmm. Um, And Frank Gray is one of those. Mm -hmm. And he is uh, an oil painter. He's the one that he actually has a a painting of an eagle, I believe, in the White House. So he he's very shy. He won't come and be interviewed, which makes us all irritated. But he says, no, no, (laughs) no. Don't want any of that publicity. Just want a quiet life here. Oh, funny. But he's a wonderful teacher and the most giving human being I think I've ever met. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just amazing. And he's there almost every Thursday. But on first Thursday, we have a potluck. And we usually have five or six people, and we just do our art. Mm-hmm. There are two what other... What time do you usually... 10.30 in the morning to around 2.30 in the afternoon. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And there, uh, Sandra Bergeron, who's another mm-hmm. local artist that's well-known, mm-hmm. um, and sells her work. She teaches and critiques, mainly. She'll oh. critique your painting. If you have something you're working on and you work on it at home, even mm-hmm. if you're not a member, you can come in and, and she'll critique if oh, she's, she's there. Oh, she's very oh, cool. helpful. Yeah. yeah. She, she and Frank have both taught for over 30 years mm-hmm. oh really yes so uh, just so much help yeah and, and I haven't painted really that long it wasn't conducive to oil painting when you're on the road in an RV so their help has just been invaluable yeah. it's really and, great and we have a watercolorist Greg Chaplinski Oh. And Greg has just turned 80 this year, I think. And he has taught for years. And uh-huh. he, and when he can be there, he's there. So we have watercolorist, oil, composition. And I mean, it's just a really good... And when we do the potluck, it's fun. Right. Yeah. So every Thursday, we try to be there. But we have a new website now. Oh. And what's the website uh, now? It's called the Coeur d'Alene Art Association dot org. It's the same same web, Same URL. Okay. Same URL. It's just a, a new website. A new website. And That's great. I am really proud of this because I don't know how to do that. And I forced myself for 30 days straight to go in there and I taught myself to make this wow. darn website. And it's wonderful. And it's, I'm sure it's just an okay website. But for me, it's like your first child. Right. It is. I mean, it has drop-down menus. I know what hyperlink means now. I mean, I'm so proud of myself. And I can't remember from one minute to the next. Somebody asked me to do something, and I thought, oh, no, I have to go in there again. Oh, man. But I'm really proud of it because it does have a watercolor of downtown Coeur d'Alene as our, as our main mm-hmm. page. And it was done by one of our members, Clyde Barnes. Mm-hmm. And I just threw it on there because it was in, on my computer. Right. And if you go in there, you can look under our board. You can actually see who's on our board board and there'll be a little blurb about each person so you can find out a little bit about the people which is that's really. great do you have information about all the artists that belong there's a section called it's still under construction because they don't send the forms back oh but right i have to have permission yes i i understand uh-huh. i understand trying to get, get artists forms to back. get their stuff i know in. i never send my forms back and i know <laughs> i know you get that in <laughs> darn <laughs> she finally got mine today <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway I, I i do have it it's called member links and if you have a url and you're a member i can put your url on there and I usually put a painting mm-hmm. of that artist, their URL, and a little line, like for um, like for the Sandra studio. Bergeron. It's it, her her tagline is inspirational oil paintings because she right. does such inspirational oil paintings. Mm-hmm. So I can't remember what mine is, but anyway, <laughs> there is a tagline for everybody. <laughs> That's and there's cool. a painting, and then there's a link directly to their website. Mm-hmm. So the new website is designed. It's not to replace their marketing. They should have their own marketing and their own website. And Mm -hmm. I actually taught them about Fine Art Studios Online and how they can do that one or their own free Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I did all that to try to get them to... Because if you have a Facebook URL, that can be linked to it too. You can be linked if right. you remember anywhere mm-hmm. but the website is really designed to help make the public aware of this association so mm-hmm. they can know what goes on right like if they're going to do a Thursday and it's not the first Thursday they should, they should go to the website and check it out and make sure right. it's going to happen mm-hmm. um, Frank Gray's phone number and he's Texas everybody so um, mm-hmm. you have to check before you go on a Thursday if it's middle especially summer because people come and go and right. they get all, all over the place um, but we do some plein air 
more mm-hmm. and more. We have a lady now called Fanny Van. She she says she lives in her van, but I'm not sure she does. <laughs> and, <laughs> and she loves plain air. So we were down here last week at the park. Oh, fun! In plain air, and we always bring food. We we. I'm surprised we don't all weigh three tons, but we always have food. <laughs> well, you got to um, eat. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. It was great. And Do, is it, does the website explain to the public how to get involved with the Arts Association? There is a join us. Okay. So they can, so they can join uh-huh. mm-hmm. right there on the website. Yeah. Okay, great. And there awesome. is also, I think our email is on there. Uh, we had a big turnover two years ago when I became president because two of our people were really ill that mm-hmm. had handled the website and had oh. handled the um, what was it um, email uh-huh. and the membership book. So we have a lot of elderly people. This mm-hmm. this this association is over sixty years old, and I think mm-hmm. some of these people were practically there then. <laughs> so we have people that are eighty and eighty five that are right. still. Um, holding down jobs mm-hmm. that that we need to um, let some of our younger people take over. Right. Right. Um, right. Like Jonine. <laughs> right. <laughs> From Santa Fe. One thing she told me about Santa Fe that I found interesting, I did not know it was second to like New York or LA as far as a large art community, but it was very difficult to get into shows. And so the people. They were all juried. They were right. all oh, juried. Wow. Yeah. So here, you know, we don't we do have juried shows occasionally, mm-hmm. but this show that we're having this weekend is not juried. It is anyone in the art association can be in the show and uh, they they have a chance to exhibit. Yeah, I love that because everybody needs an Ev- opportunity yeah, to absolutely. show their work. And, and I ran in, I thought, okay, I'm accepted into this one. It's, you know, I'll just send in my application next time and everything will be a go. Not, it wasn't. Um, Sometimes you were in and sometimes you weren't. Mm -hmm. So it was really difficult to break in to, to the art scene there. And the motto for the Art Association is art for everyone. And that you know that implies yeah. and, and mm-hmm. for me it's like I look at it as we have people who have lost their spouses mm-hmm. lost their son just moved here and don't know anyone mm-hmm. and when I moved here I didn't know anyone and I found out two ways one was the Chamber of Commerce the brochure was here mm-hmm. and the other was Art on the Green mm-hmm. right. and it was my first encounter I didn't know a soul in town I my husband was ill and in the hospital and I basically w- that was how I became aware and the mm-hmm. um, the art association gives people a chance to get together with like-minded individuals and do their work and it's a place to go mm-hmm. you know uh, yeah. we only have one meeting a month actual formal meeting Uh, We have a board meeting, then we have a meeting on Thursday, and all of this is on the website. Mm -hmm. But that first Thursday, if people want to, they actually have a place they could go and just hang out for a couple hours with um, another artist and do something. Get a little instruction. Mm -hmm. Well, very cool. Hey, y'all. It's Jason from Tubbs Coffee Roasters. We are North Idaho's specialty coffee roaster. We are homegrown, and we are local. We love coffee and we love our community, especially Allie and Callie in ArtCast. We have a retail space in our roastery in Hayden, and we can also be found on the shelves at Super One and Yolks. And if you like to buy coffee online, we do offer subscriptions. You can find us at TubbsCoffeeRoasters.com. Support arts and culture and your local roaster. That's all. So tell us a little bit more about this weekend. Is um, is the artwork for sale? Yes. Each member who wants to be at the show has an area and we are able to display our work and sell it. It's just a wonderful way to get your name out there, mm-hmm. to get some of your artwork sold. And the benefit um, for the Art Association is 20% of every sale does benefit the Art Association. That was my question. And we are a non-profit. Right that. I thought I was we're, like, so we're what's a your non-profit, good? But we're a non-profit, but we're not a, we're a, a C3, I forget the number, but we can only collect a portion right. from outside of our of our organization of what we actually take in so we need the take in funds in order to pay for the rental of the place that we meet and all these right. various things of expenses course. of, of yeah. an association of so that helps with that and we also have the raffle and the raffle is ben- benefits the um, students in the area we 
always gave to NIC a, a, a scholarship every year. Mm-hmm. And, but now this year we're doing it to just in general mm-hmm. students that um, need a scholarship in the area. Mm-hmm. So we want to continue to educate. Our motto is about educating. The motto is art for everyone, right. which means everyone from the person who just wants to look at it to the person who wants to learn when they're 95 how to draw. Mm-hmm. And the other focus is on educating the public about not just educating them on how to paint and draw, but about the arts and what they do, what their function is mm-hmm. in the community. Because And how does one apply for that scholarship? Well, right now it's it's strictly going to places such as NIC, to oh, schools. Okay. But if, if NIC continues to thrive, we'll probably continue that and broaden it out. Mm-hmm. And, but I like the thought of having people apply for those scholarships mm-hmm. because we do want to expand out and do more than NIC. Right. We did that with the uh, Jack Bannon Scholarship Fund. We put an uh, application on the website so that anybody could apply for it. And mm-hmm. then, And obviously their focus has to be some form of art. Hey, ladies, have you heard about Nia yet? Hi, I'm Marilee Wallace, and I'm a proud board member of the Coeur d'Alene Arts and Culture Alliance and owner of Nia. That's short for the North Idaho Alliance. We specialize in leadership development, specifically focused in connecting women to programs, workshops, and networking to educate, empower, and enrich their lives. Our goal is to make positive impacts in the community while helping other women in North Idaho succeed. Next up is our annual Onward and Upwards Women's Conference set for May 24th, and our new event, Women with Cool Jobs, scheduled for early summer. And then keep a lookout to register for our super popular Women of Impact Leadership Roundtable Series. That begins every September. So I hope you'll look us up. We're at thenorthidahoalliance.com. Find us on Facebook or just give us a call, 208-660-1557. Go out and make it an impactful day. This party that we're having this weekend, there will be wine and hors d'oeuvres, and from 5 to 8, there'll be people demonstrating, all of those artists I mentioned, and, you know, Cheryl's a sculptress, and Mm -hmm. Terry Lee's oil painting of large animals, right? and Kyle Pagliato does his pigs with pearls and many other gorgeous things, Mm -hmm. and they're just all amazing artists, and um, it's free parking, and it's a wonderful place to bring children. Yes, you know. Yes, I and, get them exposed. Yeah. Yeah. And right. we have wine, and and we have, we have water too. My husband's bringing two cases of water, so you won't go. You won't go through water and wine. Yeah. Uh, water you and go wine, wrong. and we yeah. we will have music. I'm not sure what the music is going to be. We usually have something from the conservatory, but mm-hmm. I haven't been able to get in touch with them. Mm-hmm. And so, our vice president Joyce Holst says that she knows a guy who plays guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I think they do a good job. I'm just teasing her, but I can't right. help it. I'm but sure they do have great. a pretty wide um, variety of music that they play. Uh-huh. These two gentlemen that she's thinking about having there. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm sure at the show you're going to have a wide variety of mediums and styles. I'm just interested, um, Janine. What is your style? What do you like to paint? I like to paint landscapes and animals. Oh, okay. So. Cool. And cows, pigs. Uh huh. Um, but mostly landscapes. And a lot of my art right now is um, I just fell in love with the Southwest. So. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I love the falls down there, the aspen trees, mm. and those gorgeous orange and yellow cliffs that or throughout that area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What up here has inspired you with your artwork? Oh, just the lakes, the water. It's it's been beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel like inspiration is everywhere. Here. It is everywhere. Well, I yeah, I know. I totally agree with that, but some people are very specific. <laughs> That's true. Some people are. <laughs> the some, you know, the the um wooded tree backgrounds and you know hills and yeah mm-hmm. i've never been to santa fe so i don't know i've never been to new mexico but <gasps> i have lived in phoenix so oh the light i in feel new like i feel like gorgeous, it's a difference really. because it's a higher elevation correct yeah, yeah. santa fe is at seven thousand feet right yeah wow. that's, that's even higher the, than here the, yeah the, so the, light the weather just, there and here is really identical similar. 
Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yes. That is because it's wild. yeah, it you know, it gets hot here in the mm-hmm. summer and there as well because you're in the desert, but right. you, you get the snow because you're at the uh, at the elevation. The yeah. elevation you're mm-hmm. at. Yeah. Well, it sounds really exciting what you're going to do this weekend. I'm going to have to come down and check it out. And oh, I always love to see Cheryl in action anyway. Cheryl Metcalf. She's oh, she's always, fascinating. And yeah, Terry. She's fun. And Terry, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. But my favorite demonstration that Cheryl did was of Terry Lee. <laughs> he was sitting for her. She made him a little devil. <laughs> It was really fun. I love it when she does a demonstration and lets people come up and and, um, And pick at it. And last year she did a a mountain goat. And the children came up and she began it when she started and she finished that in that two-hour period. I was fascinated. It was a great mountain goat, and the children would come up and they would touch stuff and right. Yeah, they're wonderful. I love that. Yeah, and these all they all volunteer. You know, all of these artists that demo for us, they volunteer mm-hmm. and they come and they just do it for the pleasure of sharing their art with yeah, other people. Yeah, right. That's so fun. That's awesome. Well, remind us the times again for today and tomorrow. Saturday. Friday, it's from ten to eight, mm-hmm. and the artist receptions at five o'clock mm-hmm. with the hors d'oeuvres and the wine, and then. Saturday at 10 to 5. Nice. And the raffle tickets are available there. Mm-hmm. How much are they? They're $3. Uh-huh. And if you buy five, you get a sixth one free. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, just a fun event. Um, and it's it's at the it's at the Kootenai County Fairgrounds in the big Jacqueline Arts Building. Not the Jacqueline Building, but the... Which building is building it in? Building B, like building, building B. B. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. As you enter, it's right there on the right. That big building, and it's free parking for everyone mm-hmm. out there. How much do you get free parking in Coeur d'Alene sometimes anymore? <gasps> if somebody is interested in joining the Coeur d'Alene Arts Association, how do they go about that, and how much is it? Well, they would fill out the form on the website or come to any of our meetings, mm-hmm. and it's fifty dollars a year. Oh, that's nothing. And you just pay, and you, it starts in January. So if you join in the middle of the year, you kind of lose six months. You make a donation to the association. Yeah, right. Yes. And artists and non-artists can join, correct? Yes. And you don't, um, you don't have any levels of, of no. If you if you membership. want to, if you want to be an artist and you want to learn to draw, then mm-hmm. you join as an artist because you'd want to grow right. in that field. But you can also be an associate, which is twenty five dollars, I think, or thirty five dollars a year, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and that's someone that comes to the the meetings when they want to and they contribute maybe they like to help with the show for example we have people right. that come and help bring in the chairs and and just hang out and enjoy the art and enjoy being involved with artists but they don't want to paint oh that's great i didn't yeah. realize yeah. you yeah. had that level that's mm-hmm. cool yeah i didn't either so mm-hmm. it's more of a supporter of the art right mm-hmm. yes and it. then there's also the the people that don't even want to do that but they want to contribute financially right. and mm-hmm. they they sponsor and we have several people that do that Nice. So it's it's just really, it's a wonderful organization. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of gotten lost in all the things I think that have been happening and all the growing that's going on in Coeur d'Alene. Right. So we want to make sure people know, hey, we're here and you mm-hmm. are welcome. Mm-hmm. Because it has a rich history. Mm-hmm. It does yes. have a very rich last, history. Last year, I think it was last year. Yeah, it was year last before, year. Yeah, last year we had Terry on with Yvonne Benzinger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Yvonne was one of the founding members mm-hmm. of the organization. Yeah. And she's lovely. There's a little bit of our history on the website, but mm-hmm. I haven't really had time to really write what should be on there. Mm-hmm. Because the founding members actually began Art on the Green. It started mm-hmm. with a, a little thing at the park and, and mm-hmm. with the college. And and they weren't necessarily, I, I don't know the details of whether it was outreach from the organization or just the members kept reaching out but it's kind of like was the hub and then these people that were so active would go and do things so mm-hmm. Art on the Green we're, we're grandfathered in there they, they can't they can't squeeze us out we can always have a place it's right. just really little now Yeah. Right. And um, so now we only have 13 slots for artists you can only only 13 of our members can sign up for it it costs right. to be in any of the shows not a lot but $50 or something like that mm-hmm. but Art on the Green is one of the most expensive because of the space we have to pay right. for the space and that's paid for by the people that sign up right Right. but it's limited because of our small space we can only take so many people Mm -hmm. and I mentioned to the treasurer that I wanted to be in it this year and she said sign up right away because there's only 13 slots and right wow yep 
Wow. So, so we, do you need volunteers for anything coming up? We always need volunteers okay. because we get to know them if they volunteer. Right, exactly. So they can contact us at any time and say, hey, I just want to come and help out. Uh, Frank Gray will be meeting, for example, for this show. He will be meeting on Thursday morning at 9 o'clock at our storage unit. And he'll be meeting my husband, who's volunteering. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Husbands are always volunteers yes. by osmosis. <laughs> yes, <laughs> by proxy. <laughs> yeah. He and his truck will be there and um and several other uh, members with trucks and they will carry the equipment that's mm-hmm. needed to set up the panels oh, there's right. about 20 artists that'll be in this particular show mm. nice and they do range from beginners to advanced people so you see the whole broad spectrum of mm-hmm. of artists well um, we'll always accept sponsors though and the oh, sponsors yeah. will be featured at the show both mm-hmm. on a banner and in our program and, mm-hmm. on, and our on our website yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and Pilgrim's Market is one of our sponsors oh, oh very great. cool they not yeah, only, let's do a little plugs here for yeah. you they don't only give money and... but they're giving food as well oh, oh fantastic great. and let's see um, Spokandy uh, wonderful Spokane does chocolates mm-hmm. in Spokane mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. one of our members Brooke Baguette who does abstracts mm-hmm. She's making a sign for pilgrims because they wanted a sign to be outside of our show in addition. Oh, nice. And so she's making one. She does acrylic pours, mm-hmm. and she's making a sign for pilgrims. Oh, so cool. That's, okay, that's oh, yeah. very nice. Fun. So now that's i got to make one nice. for Spokandy. We like to have an event at the library that is art a la carte, and we set up tables in a room downstairs in the library. It's open to the public, and people can come through and try watercolor, oil, and bring all their children. Tables. All the oh, tables that would be really fun. fun. I love this yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's that's we did that two like years ago, and now we need to do it again. Again, yeah, we haven't had time to, and it costs money to do we'll, it. So we'll right. provide the supplies, and they the can teachers. come. The teachers, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, that's well, great. We'll, you'll so have to you'll have to keep us in the loop on that, so we yeah, can help you guys sure. promote it for sure. Great. Well, well, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you so much, for ladies, here, for coming and, and for spending some time us. with yeah. us. And it was so much fun. Uh, we're lucky to have you. I'm glad that you. Came up this way. Yeah, you yeah. found our you found our li- our little artsy town. Yeah, that's right. I, I love it. Absolutely love it. And yeah. I do find that this community is very supportive mm-hmm. when it comes to the arts. We're all mm-hmm. very supportive of each yeah. other, which is great. Yeah. You I should come you to Arts Buzz. Yes, I'll have to mm-hmm. do that. Now yeah. you know where it is. I know where right? it is. I'll have mm-hmm. to do that. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's really fun. And remember that our buzz is the first Friday of every month. So one more time, CoeurDelaineArtsAssociation dot org. You can find Perfect. out all the information there. And thanks again for being here. Thank we you, appreciate ladies. you taking the time. Thank you. Thank and you for having us. You bet. Thank I'm you. Allie. Well, and I'm Kristen, sitting in in Callie's chair. And whatever you do today, make sure it's creative. The Alley and Cali Artcast is a program of the Coeur d'Alene Arts and Culture Alliance and is sponsored by NIA, North Idaho Alliance, a woman-based leadership organization designed to inspire, uplift, and impact your community and lives. And Tubbs Coffee Roasters, globally sourced, locally roasted coffee. 